Hi guys, my name is Mila Jameson and welcome to the new update in Sims Free Play. This is the French Romance update that dropped on the 31st of January 2017. So when you update your game you will get this loading screen, just wait whilst the game updates and then you will get a pop-up. A little tip, if you have any issues with that, my game wouldn't move from that loading screen. I've just turned off my device and restarted it and hopefully now it is going to work. So if you get that problem that it doesn't move on from that uh, updating screen, just turn off whatever device you're playing on and then um, and start again and it should work for you. Also, if I don't sound normal, it's because I am not too well. I'm full of a cold and not feeling too good at the moment. So that's why I might sound a bit odd. But here we go. Here is the pop-up that you will get when you have updated your game. New live event, the French Romance event. And we have 12 days for this event. Everything you need to design a romantic French getaway for your Sims. Collect, craft items to unlock new prizes and choose the ones you want. So start collecting. So we will do a little walkthrough of the tutorial for this event in this video. It's going to be quite similar to the community style events that we've had in the past where we have to collect various items. So the first thing you need to do is to place a crafting station. You progress in the French Romance live event by collecting arts and crafts items. You'll need a crafting station for that. Go to the events items tab of the home store and place a candle station in a home lot. So I've kind of set up this little kind of station like I do with all events. It's the best thing I think just to have a lot where you just have like an empty lot and you just put empty rooms and you can just do your um, your event on a lot like this. So if you go into the event items, it kind of guides you with an uh, exclamation mark. And we have four different stations. So the candle station, the pottery station, the jewellery station and the glassware station. Those become unlocked as we progress through the event. So we can have four candle stations. The first one is free. Let's go ahead and place one down. And that is task complete on place a crafting station. Now we need to make some arts and crafts items. Now that you have a crafting station, your sim can make arts and crafts items to unlock prizes in the French Romance Live event. Have a sim make some candles from a candle station. Little tip here, before you go ahead and do that, if you just go back into your event items and buy all four of the candle stations, so the price goes up each time you buy one. So the next one is 2000 and then 4,000, and then I think the next one is 10,000, yeah, 10,000, excuse these Instagram pop-ups that keep coming, by the way, if you'd like to go and follow me on Instagram, little plug, I have a, a travel personal account that is Greenoid Adventure, so go ahead, over to Instagram and follow me there, that would be cool, so you want to bring four sims over, so as you can see, I've got quite a lot of sims over here, but you go and look at these, aren't they cool? These little candle stations. You want to click on all of the stations. So we want to make 50 candles for 23 seconds. As you see, as we go through, to get 50 candles in 23 seconds is a, like a really good deal in terms of time. So you want to do it on all four of the stations really quickly. So instead of just getting 50 candles to start off with, you're going to get 200 candles, which is very good in terms of timing. And as you can see, once they finish making candles, as usual, they get this little bubble above the head. Just go ahead and click on the bubble and you will collect the candles. So we go, we have made some prize progress. We are, you should be familiar with this kind of setup now, how it looks. We've had this numerous times for numerous different events. But we have actually won the mood lighting there. We needed 50 candles for the mood lighting. We have 200 because we did that little kind of, not cheap, but just kind of a, a way to get some more some more candles to start off with. So that is task complete on that. Now we need to restock a crafting station. So this is a different thing. We've never had this whole thing of having to restock anything before. But occasionally you may need to restock arts and craft stations with supplies. The candle station just ran out, ran out and needs to be restocked. Have a sim perform a restock action on a candle station. So again, with the whole fourth sim thing, you want to do all four candle stations. It's restock for two uses for 10 seconds, or you can use SPs if you want. We restock 18 uses instant for 10 SPs. But we're gonna go ahead and just do the 10 second quickly on all of them. And again, later on, you see that restocking takes much longer than that as in normally. So you wanna try and get as much as you can done in the tutorial whilst it's nice and quick for you. That is task complete on that. Now we need to buy the mood lighting pack. You've collected enough arts and crafts items to unlock the mood lighting pack. So let's go into the screen 
and we can buy the mood lighting. So let's purchase that for 50. Do you want to unlock? Yes, we do. Congratulations, you've unlocked the mood lighting pack. Find it in the lighting section of the home store. Next thing, use a coin flower patch. Construct the coins I needed to get items in this event. The best way to earn them is with a coin flower patch. So we have, again, should be familiar if you've been playing Sims for a little while, you'll be familiar with this whole coin flower patch thing. We have a coin flower patch. Just go ahead and click on it and we get a free spin to start off. So here's our free spin. Hopefully we'll get some... Ooh, what are we getting? Oh, no. Didn't get anything too good. We won two constructor coins. So in future, you can spin this plant for 450 candles or you can do a mega spin for 25 SP, depending on what you want to do. Now we need to check the daily goals. You can earn extra rewards to help you in this event by completing daily goals. Go to the daily goals tab in the event screen to see what they are. Some may already be completed. So go into the top left corner and into your daily goals. And yeah, as you can see, we have completed some of them. I would recommend that you always try and complete these daily goals just because it helps you out with getting constructor coins. As you can see, complete all daily goals, you get 20 constructor coins each day and it really does just boost your collectibles in terms of your constructor coins and your candles as well. So definitely try and do that each day. Task completed. Now we need to collect bonuses. So to collect arts and crafts items faster, check in regularly and tap the icons floating above your Sims heads for a bonus. So now when you click on the candle station, you have four different options. You've got a 2.30, a 4.30, a 6.30 and an 8.30. Again, the in terms of per minute, how many candles you get, the shorter time, the 2 hours 30 is always going to be the best one. But obviously if you're you know, sleeping at school, at work, and you can't check in on the game, do the longer time task. But in general, you should always try and do the shorter time because you will get more candles. So to collect the bonuses, we just have to leave them doing the task for a moment and then they will get a pop-up above their head, a pop-up bubble, and we can just click on that to collect the bonuses. But let's just take a little look at the screen here, the event tab. So we've got the daily goals one. We haven't got a community progress and a personal progress with this one, which is a new thing. We normally have two different tabs. As you can see, we've got the item bar, all different things that we can win and unlock. So we've got different French style furniture, and then we've also got the different stations. So the pottery station that we will unlock as we go along, as we collect more uh, items. Here are all the different things that all at the moment are currently locked because we need to collect more things. We can unlock them with candles, pottery, jewelry, constructor coins different items so there's loads of different furniture nice and as we continue down i think the grand prize yeah the grand prize kind of is the french chateau so we get this unique new house which was shown off in the trailer of the of the update so i'm looking forward to having a little look around the french chateau let's take a look i think we can see now that they've got these candles above the head so we just go ahead and click on them and that is the bonuses so you want to try and check in as usual check in on the game as often as you can to collect as many bonuses as you can and the last thing in the tutorial is just to continue collecting well done collect art and craft items to unlock and buy more prizes have sims craft items on the crafting stations to get all the prizes this event ends in 11 days and 23 hours so if you're watching this after 11 days and 23 hours after the 31st of January, then this event is over and you will have to wait until the developers maybe bring it back. So yeah, that is all I can show you for now. I'm going to continue collecting candles, move my progress along. So I don't think we have, there is no community, this is not a community event, is it? This is just a personal event, it seems like. I think. Let me know down in the comments. So there's no community progress and personal progress, it's just all personal as far as I can see. I like this, I like the concept, I like this kind of French romance thing, can't wait to see the chateau. Thank you for watching this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe for new videos and I will see you soon. Bye!